welcome to Cashier Training. This video will be the introduction to our point of service system. Today, we will take you through the steps of bringing in students and faculty transactions. Our first step is to log into our POS. So go ahead and type in your username that the district has provided for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Davis. So you'll type in your last name, dash, and the first initial, and your password, the F and S. On the upper right hand corner, there is a cloud icon with a green check mark. That gives the user the indication that they have an internet connection. If the cloud icon does not have a green check mark, that means that the user does not have an internet connection. However, the user can still serve meals and complete transaction for the specific day. The software will save the transaction and upload them once the internet connection has been achieved. So here's a screen that you can either choose breakfast or lunch. So today we're gonna to start with breakfast. You will have now the student enter their ID number. The most important thing is this year, the student will have to add a zero to the beginning of their number. When you enter a student's ID, the student comes up and there is an alert box. The alert box informs us of an allergen. Once you have identified that allergen, go ahead and hit OK. If the student does not have an ID number, you will hit search. You will now enter the student's name and click on the picture that is provided for you. Once you have hit the picture that you need, you will then add the items of the student, what they have on their tray. So she got a blueberry bread, banana, and chocolate milk. Once you have done that, you can either hit account, cash, or total. Account would be if they got an a la carte item as an extra milk, that would cost 50 cents. You can either hit charge to the account, or if they have 50 cents to give you, you can hit cash for the exact same amount. Or if you hit total, you can either hit a dollar because they gave you a dollar, and the balance due would be 50 cents. You can hit total charge or give back the student the 50 cents. After you have finished breakfast, you're going to hit the back button. You're gonna to come to this screen here. What you'll do is you'll take your finger and you're gonna swipe the screen. And this little pop-up window will come right here and what you wanna do is hit the X. Now you have completed breakfast and you're finished for now. So today, a student comes up to you and they wanna add money onto their account but they are not purchasing lunch or breakfast. You will then have the student enter their ID number if you're in breakfast, have them enter their ID number, or you can search for the child. You can just hit total and enter the amount of money they would like to enter onto their account. One dollar, enter, deposit only. Now it's time for lunch. So you're back at the screen where your username and password that you're gonna enter. If you're using the same terminal, the computer will remember the previous user. So we use Brenda Davis as a username before, so we can click on Brenda because she's using the same computer. And she will enter as you did for breakfast. So now we're gonna choose lunch. Here is where the students will enter their ID number, but remember, they will have to add a zero to their number. So here you will add any items that are on a child's tray. Classic hamburger, golden corn, milk and juice. So as a complete meal, as a reimbursable meal, lunch menu, lunch meal will show up on the screen and should be total amount. You will do the same steps as either account, cash, or total. Once you either hit cash, count, or total, it will be complete and you're finished. Now when Lunch service is finished for the day. You are going to hit the back button. Now you're going to have the same screen where it says close register. This is where you will hit close register. You will add all the items that you have in your drawer. So if you have one dollar, four quarters, five nickels, and three pennies. 
So your total cash should be 228. If you know that is correct, then hit save. This will bring you back to this screen and then you're finished for today. This will now conclude our POS training. We are now going over to our computers and practice on our terminals. Have a great day.